Sarah with itsyourgrade.com. In this video, we're going to talk about density. Density is a substance mass divided by its volume, and we symbolize it by d equals m over v, where d stands for density, m stands for mass, and v stands for volume. The most common units of density are grams per centimeters cubed or grams per, I'm sorry, grams per milliliter. It's also a good idea to memorize the density of water, which is 1.0 grams per centimeters cubed or 1.0 grams per milliliter. So let's do a simple example of how to find density. The volume of a certain liquid is 22.5 milliliters, and its mass is 24.0 grams. So we will use our formula D equals M over V. Our mass is 24.0 grams and our volume is 22.5 milliliters. So where's my calculator? We punch this in, 24 divided by 22.5 gives us 1.0667 grams per milliliter need to take significant figures into account. The mass has one, two, three significant figures. The volume has one, two, three significant figures as well. So our answer needs to have three significant figures. One, two, three. We will need to round up because the six is greater than five. So our answer is going to be density is equal to 1.07 grams per milliliter. That's a simple calculation of finding density, but what happens if you have a more involved um, density problem where you have to use unit conversions? And unit conversions I've talked about in the previous video. So let's work on that type of an example. We're going to talk about the gas in your gas tank. The gas in your gas tank has a mass of 65.0 kilograms. And the density of gasoline is 0.752 grams per centimeters cubed. Oh, I don't know why I circled the three. Um, to do this problem, we need to do three steps. The first step is going to be, if you look at the mass and you look at the density, we have kilograms and grams. Well, those units don't match up. So for the first step, we're going to convert the mass kilograms into grams using unit conversions. In the second step, we need to find what volume is. We have density, we have mass, so using density equals mass over volume, we can then find volume in centimeters cubed. In the third step, I want to convert the centimeters cubed into gallons, because the gas in your gas tank, we know we go by the units gallons. So, for the first step, kilograms to grams, we have 65.0 kilograms. We know that one kilogram, which goes on the bottom to cancel, has 1,000 grams. So, this equals 65,000 grams. We need to check significant figures. One, two, three sig figs. And this is an exact conversion, so it's infinite. So our answer needs to have three significant figures, so we will need to use scientific notation. So the mass now equals 6.50 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4 grams. That's step one. In step two, we now need to find the volume. We know that density equals mass over volume. Our mass is 6.5, oh, I'm sorry. Let's rearrange this formula first, because we want it for volume, right? In the question we're asking what the volume is. If you use algebra, you can rearrange this to find that volume equals mass over density. Our mass is equal to 6.50 times 10 to the fourth grams, and our density is equal to 0 0.752 grams per centimeters cubed. These grams will cancel, and our new volume is now going to be 
6.5 to the fourth divided by 0.752. That gives us 86,436.17 centimeters cubed. Again, we need to check for significant figures. We have one, two, three sig figs, and here we also have three sig figs. So our answer will have to have three significant figures. One, two, three. Well, this is bigger than, this has more significant figures than what we need, so we will have to use scientific notation. One, two, three, four. 8.64 times 10 to the fourth centimeters cubed. We're almost there. The last step, we need to convert centimeters cubed into gallons. Well, what do we know? We know that one centimeter cubed is equal to one milliliter. <clears throat> we know that there's 1,000 milliliters in one liter. And we know that one liter is equal to 1.057 quarts. And we know that there are four quarts in one gallon. So this is going to be a big unit conversion. I think I need some more space, so I'm going to erase one of our sets here. <coughs> Third step here. We need to take the volume that we found, 8.64 times 10 to the fourth centimeters cubed, and using our math, we're going to do centimeters cubed goes into milliliters, convert it to liters, convert it to quarts, and then convert it to gallons. So first step, centimeters to milliliters. Centimeters cubed needs to go on the bottom, and one milliliter will go on top. Then one, the milliliters will now need to go on bottom, so we're going to use 1,000 milliliters and one liter. Liters will now need to go on bottom, so one liter and 1.057 quarts on top. Quarts will need to go on the bottom, so four quarts is equal to one gallon. So if you notice, centimeters cubed cancel, the milliliters cancel, the liter cancels, the quarts cancel, and we're left with gallons, which is what we want. So let's punch this big thing on the calculator. 8.64 to the fourth um, times one, that's just one, times 1.057 divided by 1,000. 1,000 divided by four. This equals 22.8312 gallons. Again, significant figures need to come into play. One, two, three sig figs here. And these are, well, these two are both exact because they're, uh, they have infinite number of sig figs. This is also exact. This one has one, two, three, four sig figs because this is an approximation. It's not an exact value. Three sig figs is the lowest, so our answer has to have three. One, two, three. The volume of the gas in the gas tank is going to be 22.8 gallons. The 3 is less than 5, so there's no rounding. And that's a more involved calculation of density.